Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 9 Episode 3. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're a family, family member one of my peoples, uh, welcome back. So, we starting off with the smush that Sierra gave to Carly because she felt that Carly wasn't there for her. But I'm like, girl, we can't be out here fighting people when we just left court when you was accused of attacking people. Now we actually have this on tape. This not a good look, Sierra. But then I was like, this smush is not going to be a good look for Carly because if the palm of Sierra's hand had a, you know, mushed on Carly's new lips, them lips, one, her top lip would have been going this way and her bottom lip would have been going that way. Like, sad note, what happened to Carly's lips? Did she go to a cheap doctor? Did she go to a wrong doctor? Did, like, her lips just, like, reacted wrong to whatever procedure she had done? Because them lips, look, they, they wasn't looking like they was looking last season. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to need y'all to stop. Just like I'm going to need all these women to stop going to that same doctor and they coming out looking like this, looking all the same. Like, what's her name? Kim Zosiak's daughter, Kim, Scotty Pippen's wife, and somebody else, they all look like they went to the same doctor, got the same nose job, the same lip job, and, like, the same, like, facelift. Came out looking the same. Like, no, like, we know that y'all went to this plastic surgery because y'all come out looking like the same person. Back over here. Sierra's assistant comes out of nowhere, y'all. Just appears like poof, she was there. And she gets the dog on attack and Carly dragging, pulling Carly by her hair. Carly is literally getting drugged. The woman was clawing at her at one point. I'm like, what is going on? I was so confused. I look over and Sierra no longer has her wig on. And I'm like, so you didn't think to, you know, have a, a, a bobby pin or something? Like, you wouldn't out here doing that. Like, I knew that you had a weave and or a wig at some point. I knew this about you. What I was trying to figure out is how come it wasn't pinned down. I guess I've been watching too many, you know, videos of women getting their wig sewed on or getting them a new weave. And, you know, using the got to be glue and all that stuff to, you know, to lay down their edges and look like that. But she just looked like she just threw her stocking cap on and just put a wig on. Maybe she don't like sleeping with her wig at night. But I would just think that she would have had this boy, bad boy pinned down some sort of way. But she didn't. Rashida and Kirk is looking like, oh, the ghetto. We need to get up out of here. And I'm like, yeah, y'all heard cutting up several foods in these people's store. Like, no, ma'am. We move on over to Light Skin Keisha. Now, y'all know I said I didn't want to call her Light Skin Keisha, but this is the name that she wants to go by, so who am I to judge? I just don't think she's light skinned. Maybe out of the, all the other Keishas in her neighborhood, she was the lighter skinned one of them, but I, to me, she doesn't look light skinned to me. But anyway, she's not only an artist. Her and her boyfriend, they do little skits on YouTube. But she's trying to figure out why Scrappy pulled the song, you know, from his IG account. It's not making sense to her. But anyways, she went from couch searching, you know, how, you know, I'm living to, you know, I don't, I don't really have a home of my own. But if you let me live on your couch, couch searching to her having her own. And, like, her next stop is she want to get married. And dude was like, yeah, you know, he wants to get married. But, you know, the time is off. Time is off. He wants to give her his last name and all that stuff. But, you know, just not right now. Now, Carly, she telling Rashida that she thinks that Sierra set her up because it was the her it was Car, um, Sierra's assistant that got the claw at her and you know dragging her across the room. Sierra's telling Bambi that she was upset with the assistant because she didn't want the assistant out here attacking Carly. Now, Carly, she thinking about pressing charges. Well, I'm like, this is not a good look for Sierra because you just left court about being violent with somebody and now you didn't mushed and pulled Carly's hair. This is not a good look for you. Now we have an um Miss Charlene um shows up. I think it's a was it Scrappy's birthday party. Yeah. And Miss Charlene she walks up and y'all um Rashida talking about some her mama had her mama had a good here in Houston. You know, she done set her up with a nice good salary working at Prez, got her a nice little luxury apartment for her to stay in. But then on top of that, she was out here telling the customers that she while she was working at Rashida's store that they can go to her website and pay ten dollars less on the stuff. So I was like, so you out here stealing first, you out here 
you know, before you was having all these, you know, salary and not having my name down, something nice before you want to do that. And what else was I was thinking that you wasn't trying to think? Oh, and you was out here taking their vendors and stuff like that. Now you up there telling their customers to come over there to your shop. Miss Sherlyn, you tried it. But anyways, this cart was like, like I want to know what's going on. And she was talking about some, it wasn't my fault that the sales was low and all that stuff. It's like, well, when I sent somebody else out there, the sales went up 85%. So was you doing that as a way you can come back here to Atlanta? Like, what's good? I was like, Miss Sherlyn, was you really doing that? They was paying you good. You was living in this nice house. And then you was over stealing their customers and their vendors. Like, really? I guess she thought that I'm Rashida's mama, so it ain't all that bad, I guess. Um, mama D, she throws a little birthday party for Scrappy. She's happy and all that stuff. But, like, I'm just going to sit here and tell you this. If I just sat here and threw my child or anybody in this party, any type of party, and somebody I don't like shows up, and it's for the person I like. I'm not leaving this party. Mama D seen Bambi's mama was like, uh-uh. I'm not fit to do this. I'm already mad because Scrappy looking at me like I got something, you know, to drink in my cup. And it's only a Coke. I'm not trying to do that. Bambi's mama showing up knowing I hate her all the way to the core of my system. And her and Ernest, they checked the deuce and they left. I'm like, girl, this is your one and only son's birthday. What you doing? Let's move over here to Sierra. Now, I was trying to figure out before what she was doing. Because what it seemed like she was out here doing was like some type of triage. But I was like, what kind of triage look would you have if you was out here doing people's eyebrows and lashes? Girl, y'all, she had on glue. She had the little triage cover all over her body. She had on one of those caps you put on before you go into surgery, but like the rest of her hair was sticking out. And I was trying to figure out, okay, you got all this equipment going on. Why is it the rest of your weave is just hanging or your wig is just hanging out? That didn't make sense to me. I was trying to figure that out. Now, I've gone to get my eyebrows done a time or two. And I've been to a shop where they've done lashes. But I have yet to see them in there looking like they was going into triage. I, I just haven't seen that. But anyway, Sierra stressed out because she didn't got a call from the lawyer. And she thinks this is bad news. Like she said, she's known, she knows what she did with the whole, you know, um, Shooter Juniors um, supposedly, you know, attacking the mama. So she didn't call where she lived because she needs some comfort. The lawyer didn't found the footage, and they showed that Sierra was nowhere near this woman, therefore the case is dismissed. Like, we clearly see you on one side and she on the other side, and not in one time did you ever go up with this woman and attack her. So, you know, she happy now, she calm, she's cool, and she's all of these other things. Now, Shakira was out here. I don't care what you got going on with your business. I just make, I need to make sure it's light skin Keisha. She can come over here to the core. And I need light skin Keisha and Bambi to get along. Now, Jock, he just wanted light skin Keisha and her boyfriend to come to his new little restaurant club situation he got going on. And he don't understand why Shakira would go out of her way and bring Bambi when she know when she knows these two don't like each other. You trying to have them mess up my spot before it even opens. Now do let you kinda know. He was with Bambi's friend for like a year and a half. That didn't work out. He got with, with, with lights. He moved on and got with light skin Keisha. Now Keisha says she she doesn't have a problem with Bambi. Bambi has a problem with for her, and that's on Bambi. That's not on me. Now Bambi show up talking about so she don't have it. She don't see it for females out here sleeping with other women's dudes. Now question. How does Bambi's friend feel about the situation? Because if she over it, I don't understand why Bambi is making this such a big deal out of it. Secondly, did did light skin Tikisha know Bambi's friend? I need to know some things. But why is she over talking about some I don't have no respect for that? I was like, Bambi, was you or was you not in the hotel with Kirk season one while he was out in the woods with Benzino and Bobby Valentino? Kirk was a married man and you was laid up in the hotel room with him. So did you want us to, you know, have Nothing going on before we just like, uh, we ain't seen Bambi in that hot tub and her out here having babies and being married to Scrappy. No, she was out here trying to 
you know, just living her weekend with her girls in the hot tub with Kirk. So I'm like, Bambi, I like you, but let's not forget you was in that hot tub with Kirk. We we not gonna forget that. So y'all, um, Sierra she invited um, what's her name, Carla to church. I guess they kind of mean friends. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention when it got to that point. So y'all, that, that was just, if you left anything out, by means of a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free. All day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. Swim my beautiful face. Put up a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you are already a family member and one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell y'all people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. Now, this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.